have to start making the video and we're leaving. Good morning friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are setting off on a weekend road trip to the town of Borsch in Albania. We are starting the morning here in Saranda where we live for about half the year. Every good road trip starts with coffee from Rock's Cafe Bar. The drive to Borscht only takes about an hour and it's very scenic. You end up quite high in the hills along the coastline. Just look at those views. We are staying at Onirana Apartments for the second time. Oh Lord. It's a small family run hotel with amazing views and you can even order a homemade meal. After we checked in at the hotel, we headed down to the beach. Borsch isn't as famous as other towns in the Albanian Riviera, so nothing much is open at the beach outside of peak summer months of July and August. Like most beaches in Albania, the beach at Borsch is pebbly. The rocks are fairly round and polished though, so it's a bit easier on your feet. After this, we headed back up the hill to our hotel.
I am so sorry to somebody's Nona, but this carbonara has zucchini in it. Onirana is the perfect place to watch the sun go down. <laughs> it was up here. A moss. Moss. Yeah. Come look, it's huge. <gasps> no giant moths were harmed in the making of this film. Subscribe, like, and comment to keep giant moths away from your bedroom at night. Today we are going to Uyabara, Borsche's most famous restaurant. I might be saying that wrong because, um, yeah, it's hard to say. Several tour groups stop by this restaurant every day. This is one of the rare occasions when you sort of want to arrive at the same time as a tour group because otherwise the staff might not want to serve in the waterfall garden area. After Uyuvara, we headed up the hill to visit the castle of Borsch. The first time we drove this way, we weren't sure how the road would be. It is narrow, but it's wide enough for two vehicles and it's in good condition. There 
is nowhere to eat or drink at the castle, at least not outside of summer. So be sure to bring your own water and snacks. It's true, the castle does not look very big from below, because only the mosque is still standing in the ruins. Here the road abruptly ends, and the path to the castle begins. There is lots of room to park your car, and the road isn't very busy. The walk up to the castle of Borsch is steep, but the path is in good condition and the views are amazing. August gets to lead. Once we reached the castle, we were surprised at how big the ruins are. With the sweeping 360 degree views, you really get a sense of why the castle was in this location. This is the mosque. It was built in the 18th century.
after our visit to the castle, we had plenty of daylight left, so we headed down the road to Chaparro. At the end of this semi-disused looking road, we were surprised to find a proper parking lot and even other tourists. We had wanted to go here, to the abandoned stone village of Upper Chaparro, but decided not to risk the road. At least not this time. Chaparro was full of surprises. The beach was mostly sandy. There was a beautiful pedestrian area. And there were natural springs running into the sea. After we had a swim and some lunch, we started the scenic drive back to Saranda. We ended the day as usual with a beautiful sunset. Thanks for watching everybody! Please hit the bell and like the subscribe button.